people do not like to take time to clean their machine, but taking just a few minutes to clean it properly will help ensure many more hours of sewing by preventing any issues related to fuzz and thread buildup in your machine. It is recommended that you turn your machine off while cleaning it, but we are going to leave this machine on while cleaning it for better lighting. Remove the presser foot, remove the needle. This is a good time to throw away that old needle and put a new one in when you're finished cleaning the machine if you haven't replaced your needle recently. This is the next part of the needle plate that you need to remove. You do that by putting your index finger behind it here. Notice there's a little indent in the machine and pull it towards you. That little ding you heard was the machine we're using here because it is still on and it does know that the needle plate has been removed. When you clean your machine, this is a really good time to check your bobbin case for damage. But how do you know whether your bobbin case is damaged? We've borrowed some damaged bobbin cases from the Hall of Shame so you can compare and know whether it's time for you to replace your bobbin case. Let's take a look at those now. This one has a tiny hole where the needle struck it, right there. Even that little hole will prevent the thread from moving freely around the bobbin case and will catch and cause problems on your sewing. This one has two holes in it. Double whammy. This bobbin case, while it doesn't have a hole on the flat part, does have a small piece taken out there on that little hook area. An undamaged bobbin case may have a very, very tiny, almost imperceptible notch there, but this is way too big. This is actually a piece taken out of it. This one is damaged. This bobbin case has a big chunk taken out of the end here. Very bad. That's nasty. This one looks like the machine got hungry and ate part of the bobbin case for lunch. This piece here is also damaged, but hmm, throw this away. Oh, and there's two little holes there on the side too. No, no, no. Not gonna work. Use your screwdriver to remove the screws in the needle plate. It's easiest if you loosen them your screwdriver a little bit and then remove them with your fingers. Be careful with these. Notice they have a flat head. So when cleaning your machine you want to move this away from the bed of the machine so it doesn't fall into the machine and sit them on their little heads like that and they won't roll away. Ask me how I know about that. Okay. There's number two. And remove the metal needle plate. Next, use a brush to clean out any fuzz in your machine. There may be some thread stuck in here. Get this cleaned out first. Be surprised how much lint can get caught underneath the bobbin case, between the bobbin case and the hook. Make sure to remove any stray pieces of thread from this area. You can use tweezers if you can't get them out with your fingers or the brush. Please be careful not to remove this piece here. This is supposed to be there and it helps hold the thread tails while the machine is trimming. So you don't want to pull that off. Please be careful. If you feel like there is too much fuzz back here and underneath these areas, 
You can use the same attachments that you use for your vacuum to clean your computer to clean your machine. You do not want to ever use compressed air or blow anything into the machine. So always pull it out. Do not blow fuzz or air into the machine. Putting it back together is the crucial part. You must place the metal needle plate on securely first before you do anything else. Get it started. go. Use your screwdriver to tighten the screws on the needle plate. Make sure they're nice and snug. There. Next, you'll need to place the bobbin case into the machine. Notice there is a white triangle or arrow here on the bobbin case itself, and you will want to match the tip of that arrow up with the white dot that is located right here on your machine. Slip the bobbin case into the machine. Now, if you're having a hard time, don't remove or loosen the needle plate to get this in. Instead, just gently move the hand wheel, turn it toward you, always turn it toward you, until the bobbin case fits smoothly into the machine. So this is nice and level, and the arrow is lined up with the dot. Next, Place your new needle into the machine. Turn your hand wheel toward you. Now it's recommended that you take this through a few rotations to make sure that the bobbin case is seated perfectly into the hook area. And look how nice that is. So you know when it is seated correctly because it's not moving around in there and the needle is not striking the bobbin case. If the bobbin case has been seated incorrectly and the needle touches the bobbin case when you're hand turning it, you won't damage your bobbin case. Next, place the plastic piece onto the machine. Now, there's a gap here, and notice that it's hanging off the end a little bit. So you want to push that straight back into position. It should be nice and snug, and there should not be any gap in between the plastic and the metal parts of the needle plate. You can turn your hand wheel toward you a couple more times through a couple more rotations, just to make sure that everything is seated correctly. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? And it didn't take very long. Referring to this video every time you clean your baby lock machine will help you keep your machine in tip top shape. So clean it correctly and clean it often. Happy sewing. <laughs>